हेलो वर्ल्ड दिस इज आर डी फॉर फिटनेस एंड आई एम अभिनव टॉन्ग एंड वेलकम टू चेस सीरीज सो आई एम स्टार्टिंग द बॉडी पार्ट सीरीज इन विच आई एल एक्सप्लेन ईच एंड एवरी मसल्स फॉर पर्टिकुलर बॉडी पार्ट एंड एक्सरसाइजेज एंड वर्कआउट टू टारगेट दो मसल्स सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द चेस मसल एंड इट्स एनाटॉमिक वेल चेस मसल इज नोन एज पेक्टोरल मसल्स और इन शॉर्ट वी कॉल इट एज पैक मसल पी ई सी वेल डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज विद द टर्म पैक इन एट पैक एप्स एंड सिक्स पैक एप्स बिकॉज देयर पैक इज पी एस सी के एंड हेयर पैक इज पी ई सी विच इज द शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ पेक्टोरल पेक्टोरल मसल इज बेसिकली डिवाइड इन टू टू पार्ट फर्स्ट वन इज मेजर पेक्टोरल एंड सेकंड वन इज माइनर पेक्टोरल सो द मसल विच इज द विजिबल पोर्शन दिस विजिबल पोर्शन ऑफ द मसल इज नोन एज द मेजर पेक्टोरल एंड माइनर पेक्टोरल लाइज बिनीथ इट विच यू कैनॉट सी फ्रॉम योर आईज मेजर पेक्टोरल इज डिवाइडेड इन टू वेरियस हेड्स सो हेड बेसिकली मीन्स the portion where these muscles gets originates so let's discuss about the head of the major pectoral now so this is known as collarbone or this is called as clavicle so the chest muscle or the pectoral muscle next to this clavicle is known as clavicular head next comes the sternum so this is the this bone like structure from which the ribs are attached is known as the sternum so the pectoral muscles originating from sternum is known as sternal head the third one is the costal head so this lower most portion of the muscles which is attached to the costal cartilage is known as costal head sternal head and costal head collectively known as sterno costal head now in bodybuilding and fitness world chest is divided into following categories first is upper chest second is middle chest third is lower chest fourth is inner chest fifth is outer chest sixth is side chest and the seventh one is serratus muscles let's discuss these chest muscles one by one so first one is upper chest so so the clavicular head and the upper portion of sternal head is known as upper chest so lot of people think that the clavicular head is just the upper chest but actually upper chest comprises of clavicular head as well as the upper portion of sternal head now next is middle chest so middle chest comprises of middle portion of sternal head and the lower portion of sternal head then comes the lower chest so lower chest comprises of the costal head of the pectoral muscles next comes the inner chest so the muscles just next to sternum is known as the inner chest so the inner chest muscle is what gives the chest lining next is outer chest so the portion of pectoral muscles outward is known as the outer chest so this portion outward portion is the outer chest now comes the side chest so the costal head along with the outer lower chest is collectively known as the side chest then comes the serratus muscle so serratus muscle is the muscular sheet of muscles which lies somewhat here so three to four small muscles group you might have seen those are known as the serratus muscles so let me explain the anatomy of chest through the diagram in my explanation video to give you a clear picture have a look so let's discuss about the anatomy of pectoral major muscles so the diagram which you are seeing currently is the diagram of pectoral major muscle pectoral minor lies beneath it and we cannot see directly from our eyes so we are about to discuss the anatomy of pectoral major muscles now this structure this bone like structure this is known as collar bone or we call it as clavicle and the chest connected to this clavicle chest muscles pectoral major muscles connected to this clavicle or collarbone is known as clavicular head and this portion this bone like structure in the middle uh, to which all the ribs are attached is known as sternum and the chest muscles originating or connected to this sternum basically known as sternal head these are known as costal cartilages so the chest muscles connected to costal cartilages so these muscles are known as costal head and we also call them as abdominal head because th these are near to the abdominal region we collectively call sternal head as well as costal head as sterno costal head so sometimes people say that uh, major pectoral is having two heads sometimes it is said that it has three heads so when they are referring to head then it means clavicular head and sterno costal head and if we talk on the atomic level then we have three heads first is clavicle clavicular head second is sternal head third is costal head or abdominal head all the chest fiber or all the chest head verging to one point this is that point right so this point this bone basically this 
is the limb bone this is known as humerus so all the chest head whether they are generating from clavicle whether they are generating from sternum or whether they are generating from costal cartilages they all get converged to humerus now let's talk about the classification of chest muscle based on the fitness and bodybuilding world so the clavicular head means this portion clavicular head and the upper portion of sternal head so these muscles these are the upper chest muscles so this is called as upper chest and the middle sternal as well as the lower sternal heads are collectively called as middle chest and the costal head this portion this portion costal head this is known as lower chest chest muscle near to the sternum so this portion this portion of chest muscles which is responsible for your chest lining this is known as inner chest similarly the chest muscles towards the outer this is known as outer chest he is a very famous bodybuilder his name is franco colombo i just want to show you this picture because i want to show you that the clavicular head so you can see the clavicular head so this is the clavicular head and the upper portion of sternal head they collectively forms the upper chest so you can see that this guy franco colombo has a very well defined upper chest which is separated from the middle chest a clear line of separation is there because a lot of people just believe that the clavicular head comprises of the upper chest but actually clavicular head as well as the sternal upper portion of sternal head is known as the upper chest you can clearly see it in this picture there is another picture of franco colombo you can see how well defined upper chest he had it's clearly separated out from the middle chest let's discuss the anatomy of chest as per the fitness and bodybuilding so this portion is known as upper chest this is middle chest this is lower chest and the region of the chest near to sternum uh, which is responsible for the chest lining is known as inner chest the portion of the chest which lies outwards so this portion this is known as outer chest and the chest lining the circular lining which you can see from the front this is what which gives the side chest look when you look the chest from from the side pose so this is what which gives the side chest so and these muscles these you know it looks like rib cage but they are actually muscles so these muscles are known as serratus muscle and this is the side chest pose so you can clearly see that how aesthetic arnold side chest pose looks so you can see at this point it looks like that the chest is suddenly folded at the lower end or the lower uh, you know chest area so if you develop a folded chest look with with good development of outer lower chest then you will achieve side chest pose so this is known as side chest 